chromatic scale, all the notes on this instrument in the low register, we're just going to stick to the low register, the chromatic scale is a very useful exercise. We think of it as half exercise and half musical skill. We take a flute and we've looked at lots of different scales. The chromatic scale uses all the notes on this instrument. Okay? And every instrument is different. It's a valuable technique, we believe, to simply map out all the possible pitches that you have on this instrument. Okay? And usually we come from the top. Usually I'm going to start from the octave note. Right? Normal first note down is... But there's one more note in between. Every flute is different, so I'm using this particular fingering on this flute. You have to use your ear to find the notes that are between our notes. So now we've got three notes down. added two notes between here and here. There are actually two semitones between these two notes, and I'm using a fingering that allows me to access those notes quickly. Not the standard fingering for those intermediate notes, but I'm using uh, an alternate fingering so that I can play the run that I played in the opening. And I can play it quickly because I'm using fingers on alternate hands to do it, and that's faster. And if I want to carry on down, I'm going to, uh, from this note, which is the, um, the perfect fifth, I'm going to go to the flat five. I'm going to use that fingering. So between here and here, there's one note, the flat five. And now we come. Now between here and here, I actually have two semitones. Okay, those two notes are three semitones apart, so there are really two musical semitones in between those two notes, but I'm not trying to access those. Because they require half holding on the bottom note, doesn't usually sound good, sounds unreliable, kind of squeaky, uh, technical term we use is wanky, wanky notes. So I'm going to stay away from those. I'm only using the pitches that I can access without half holing uh, using uh, fi regular fingerings and cross fingerings. How can you use this musically? Well, I've demonstrated those chromatic runs. Fairly easy to do with a little bit of practice. That's kind of a, you know, five minutes a day for a week and all of a sudden you've got it. You can toss those in as long as you can do them lightly and easily. Um, but you can also experiment with literally playing random pitches in order to access a, a more avant-garde style of playing. Uh, I'll play uh, simply going to fairly large leaps between notes uh, using pretty much random pitches. So you can have a lot of fun with that. Uh, it's great to just experience those uh, random pitches in the same way that you play the minor pentatonic scale using random notes sometimes to make a consonant melody. We can use random chromatic notes to make a dissonant melody and uh, really get experience with that. It's different on each of your flutes. Each of your flutes is going to have a different set of fingerings, so it's wonderful and freeing to be able to explore and be free musically in this uh, chromatic scale.